Hello, hello. Good morning. I am Teacher Doris and this is our English class. Okay, today we're going to have a review of the four conditionals we saw during this month. Zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. The most difficult was third conditional. But don't worry, don't worry if you check correctly the, the, the grammar the grammar structure of each conditional, there's no problem. You won't have any problem. Because remember that this week we're going to have our test on Friday. So we're going to have our review of the four conditionals. Follow me. Okay, all conditionals. So let's make a review of all conditionals. Because remember that this week we are going to have our test on Friday. So be ready on Friday at 11 because the, your test will appear in the platform and you have to answer it, okay? Okay, zero conditional, zero conditional, it's a true event, 100% true, okay, scientific fact, and it's easy because it's a present, simple present, and simple present, okay? The condition and the result is in simple present. If you heat ice, it melts. Okay? Then the first conditional is simple present and simple future. Okay? The condition is if. When you have if, it goes with simple present and the result is with will and the verb is in base form. Okay? If you drink that milk, you will be sick. Second conditional, simple past, and the result is with would and the verb in the main, in the base form. Okay, and remember that second conditional is for imaginary, imaginary um, suppositions, okay? And the first conditional is something that it can become true. If I had enough money, I would go overseas. Had is simple past and future with would. The verb in base form. And the third conditional, I have to use past perfect in the condition. If I had won the lottery and in the result would have in the verb in past participle. I would have gone to London. Very good. Let's uh, check these two examples to decide which conditional the followings are. Okay, the condition. If we win a trip to Cape Town. The second one. If our flight had been delayed, we would have arrived there late. Okay. So let's go to the first one and the condition with if is in simple present because remember the, the, the verb when is when, one and past and past participle one. So it's simple present and the result is with will. Okay, now let's see the second one. The verb is had been. This is past perfect. And the result is would have and past participle in the verb. So the first one is first conditional. Very good. First conditional, simple present and simple future. And the second one is third conditional. Past perfect and would have with past participle. Okay, so let's uh, do more examples so we could practice and be ready for our test. Okay, let's take a, a review to simple present. Simple present, remember that uh, it's a tense that talks to you about uh, daily routines or habits and we have to use it properly. And one of the mistakes we have been making in the, in the homeworks is that we don't put the S on the third person. 
So remember, I have to put an S on he, she, it when I'm talking, uh, when I'm using the tense simple present. I cannot say if she study, she will pass the test. I have to put an S because the pronoun is she. If she studies, if she studies, she will pass the test. Okay? And another thing is the negatives. The negatives have to go with the auxiliaries doesn't and don't. If she doesn't study, she won't pass the test. Okay? And remember that the future with will, if I want to make it negative, I just put won't. Okay? But if I use a simple present, I have to be careful with he, she, and it because they go with doesn't, doesn't study. She doesn't study. And I, we, you, and they go with don't. I don't study. If I don't study, I won't pass a test. Okay, as I told you, the future is all the pronouns, all the pronouns uh, go with won't. But the simple present, I have to be careful, okay? Doesn't and don't. Another thing is the verb to be. Remember that I am, he, she, it is, you, we, they are. So when I have a conditional in simple present, if she, and I have be here, I cannot put if she be late. No, she goes with is. So if she is late, she will be fired. Okay? If they, I have to be very careful with the pronouns. If they, they goes with are. So if they are late, they will be fired. Okay, so when I have to um, use the word, the verb be, I have to remember the, the conditional, the, that I goes with them, he, she, it with is, and you, we, they with are. This is in simple present. In past, the verb to be is was and were, okay? So let's uh, continue with more exercises. Okay, let's practice. This is an example of uh, how the test is going to come. So please, please uh, study. This week, I'm going to give you the, the days so you could do your oral test and you could study for your written test, okay? So, if you have any doubt, please go back to the videos of zero conditional, first conditional, second, and third conditional so you could be ready for this um, test, okay? Let's see number one. This is one of my recommendations so you could do a great test. Go to the sentence and identify the two, the two sentences in the conditional. So... What is going to separate you, the question, the sentences, a comma, or uh, if could be, um, could be uh, in the second part of the sentences, and it's going to, to separate you the, the sentence, okay? So it could be a comma, or it could be if, if, in, in the, the middle of the sentence, like here. The radio is broken if this if is separating the second sentence, okay? So let's start here. If I leave now, comma, okay, I have to see what tense is leave. Oh, leave is in present tense. So present goes with zero conditional or with first conditional. So let me see. If I leave now, I will be home in two hours. So this is our first conditional, okay? Okay, let's go to the second one. If I had known how long the journey was, comma, that's the first sentence. So I have to see, I have to see the verb. Okay, I have to see the verb. Had known. Oh, had known is in mm, present, no, 
had known is in past. No, had known is in past perfect. Very good. So which conditional uses past perfect? Third conditional. Very good. So let me see. Third conditional tells me that the first part is in past perfect. The second part with would have and the verb in past participle. So take is take, took, taken. Past participle is taken. Very good. So that's a third conditional. Now let's go to number three. If you like, I'll lend you my car for two days. Well, this is easy because future with will is in first conditional. And the first part is simple present. So it's if you like. Okay, very good. Number four, if we increased the price, we the risk of pricing ourselves out of the market. Oh my God, verb, Incre increase it, increase it. So this is past, this is past. So second conditional tells me that the first sentence with if is past and the second part is would and the verb in base form. So it's would run. Number five, if you ask your boss, comma, I'm sure he would have considered your proposal. Would have considered is third conditional. So the third conditional tells me that the part with if goes with past perfect. If you had asked your boss, I'm sure he would have considered your proposal. Very good. Number six, the radio is broken. If you turn it on, this is the first one. The second one, it make a strange noise. Well, this is a hundred percent true. So it's present and present. Third person, it has an S. So the radio is broken. If you turn it on, it makes a strange noise. Very good. Number seven, if she hard, she will pass the test. Oh, it's uh, the second part. The result is with will. So it's a first conditional. If she studies, because it's a third person she, I put an S because the first part of first conditional is simple present. Number eight, if he makes blue and yellow, he obtains yellow. So the second, the result is a simple present and it's a true event. It's a, a scientific, yes. It's 100%, yes. So it's zero conditional. If he mixes, remember, third person he, we have to add an S. So if he mixes blue and yellow, he obtains yellow. <laughs> but here's a mistake, it's not yellow. If he mixes blue and yellow, he obtains green, green. Well, let's keep practicing. Remember that if you have any doubt, the WhatsApp group will be open. Put your doubt there and I will help you and your other classmates could also see this doubt. And they could be practicing also. Okay, so I wish you the best of the luck in your quiz. Good luck. Uh -huh.